ने तो कुछ स्टडी अबाउट देंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ठीक है ना द गवर्नमेंट हैज थ्री ब्रांचेस हु कैन टेल मी द थ्री ब्रांचेस द थ्री ब्रांचेस यस फर्स्ट ब्रांच लेजिस्लेचर सेकंड ब्रांच यस एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड थर्ड ब्रांचेस जुडिशरी सो वी हैव थ्री ब्रांचेस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट लेजिस्लेचर एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड द जुडिशरी the work of these three branches is like if we talk about the legislature legislature the work is making laws whatever law is being made that is passed by or made by the legislature okay next we have the executive what is the work of the executive what is the work of the executive the work of the executive is to execute all the laws which are being made by the legislature right so legislature and executive are the part of the branches of the uh, government which makes laws and execute laws which is which is the third branch judiciary judiciary is the third branch so what is the work of judiciary it interprets and protects the law is sun it interprets and protects the law it interprets and the protects the law and in whatever the laws which have been made by the legislature as well as the executive it interpret it to the the, uh, the uh, people of the government okay na so the work is interpreting of the laws and protecting it theek okay? hai now we we'll just have a look through this part class now here we have the, uh, we will be talking on chapters There is one word, federal center. What is federal center? Ajay, how many parts? What are the main uh, branches or the you can say houses of the parliament? Yes. The Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, and they work at which level? Central level. ठीक है ना? and we have the state level also state level pe we have the state legislative assembly and council so here we have a presentation on the parliament let's have a look and then we will india talk about it is the world's largest democracy one of the crucial features of our democracy is the distribution of power the indian constitution distributes power between the various branches of the central government as well as between the central and state governments acha why this thing is marked as red why is this thing marked as red yes anushka this is the central government central government okay central government is operating from this area and what is this area this is delhi okay na and what are these purple dots states these are the different states where we have what we have the state government Right. The delegation of responsibility ensures that no single governmental agency becomes all powerful. At the center, power is shared between the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. Okay, so we have already discussed that the two houses, the government branches, are divided into three different sectors, and they are called legislative and judicial. And so this. we say what does legislature consist of or what makes the legislature it is what the president lok sabha and rajya sabha because all the matters are discussed in lok sabha and rajya sabha and finally it is being signed by the president so these three makes you can see these three makes or constitutes the parliament or the law making body right the union executive ensures that laws passed by the legislature are put into effect and observed it is made up of the president the prime minister and the council of ministers okay law is being signed by whom the president but 
who will execute it or who will make it executed that is the prime minister and council of ministers prime, prime minister is the mediator between the president as well as the council whatever the thing is being passed whatever the orders is passed by the president the prime minister will convey it to the council of ministers and council of ministers will execute or made it executable in their own states they will work according to the prime minister or the law which is being made right next is last judiciary if india has adopted a parliamentary system of government the executive is part of the legislature and is closely linked to it see these two the judiciary is responsible for enforcing justice and for interpreting laws passed by the legislature the supreme court located in new delhi is our nation's apex judicial authority The three branches of the union government stand on an equal footing. Each fulfills its respective functions without pressure or prejudice from the other two branches. Right. So there is their own importance. Legislature is making laws. Executive to execute those laws. And if anyone is breaking those laws or to interfere, that function is a judiciary. You know, all three are very. Important. India has adopted a federal system of government. See, federal meaning is over here. Law is decentralized from the union government to the state governments. ठीक है, headed by union government and executed or run by the state governments. So that is the federal setup. The Constitution of India has provided a division of legislative powers between these two levels. For this, we have the different list. powers possessed by the center are enumerated in the union list see union government will the union list work on all those matters which are matters which are stated in the union list and for the other state government they have the different list okay na that is the same list this is of subjects that affect the entire country such as defense finance and foreign affairs is it clear defense finance and foreign affairs It is mentioned in the union. Now we talk about the state list. In the state list, state governments make laws on matters that affect their state. As a what are those uh, matters which will affect the state? Telecom, finance, railways, air traffic control, all these things. Let's see what they are saying. State Such list. as law and order, public health, and state transport. Right. It affects public health because obviously they need to just maintain the health of the public. Public is there, health is good, or that that is why they would be able to pay the taxes. ठीक है ना? State transport, ठीक है ना? Every business is being run by the state uh, transport. And law and order, you know, for to conduct each and every business, to conduct each and every business, the law and order should be made. So it will it is mentioned in the state list, right? There is also an additional list. Called the concurrent list. I think we talk about the concurrent list. The subjects which are not mentioned in state as well as or we can say other than state as well as the uh, union list. Those matters are mentioned in the concurrent list. Okay, na? So the union, the twelve state governments, can enact laws on subjects stated in the concurrent list. These subjects include education, protection of wildlife. Electricity. These are we can say something which is in common. Take a common things that is mentioned in the concurrent list, where both the central government as well as the state government they take part. They can make rules. They can work on it together. Is it clear? Now let's have a quiz. Right? Let's have a quiz on this. Whatever you know. Just tell me the answer, and let's see what is who is right and who is wrong. Okay, first one was there is power distributed to ensure that no single government body becomes supreme and all powerful. How is this applied at the center? By distributing power between the center and the state, by having three branches of the government at the center, by adopting a democratic form of government. What would be the answer? Raise your hand. Yes, Atul. Yes. A. Okay. 
Let's see, solution. No, the answer is B. By having three branches of the government at the center. Whenever we have the three branches, then only we, all the things may be done. Nah? They say power distributed to ensure. So it is being distributed among whom? The legislative, executive, and judiciary. So again, next question. A village in a state bordering a neighboring country had illegal crossovers by people from across the border who could look into the issue. And if we don't have any permit, but we are crossing it illegally. President, state, center, Supreme Court. Yes, Mr. B, state. Okay, let's see. What is the answer? No. The answer is center because law are being made by the center. Legislature is the, legislature is the law making body and it is, at, it is at center level, not at state level. Got it? So the answer is center over here. Next. Who among the following is the nominal is the nominal head of the country? We have two real head and nominal head. Nominal head they are talking about. Yes, Anushka? The president. The president. What is your answer? The Prime Minister. Okay. President and Prime Minister. Let's see. President or Prime Minister? Solution. The answer is President. Prime Minister is the real head. And president is the nominal head. Just clap for her. Okay. Next. What? Why is the concurrent list made? A certain subject need the center and the state to enact laws. A certain subject have come up after the constituent was drafted. As certain subjects do not need either the center not or the state to enact laws. What can be the answer? Yes, Mithali. A. A. A certain subject needs the center and the state to enact laws. Yes, you are right. Please clap. Okay. Now, let's have a small game. A quiz in a game form. For this, we will be this will be game image. How many of you want to play this game? Everyone? Are you excited? Yes, sir. Okay. So, choose the topic. Let's take constitution only. Okay. Now, innings we will take less. Okay, 20 innings. Okay, we just team A. Let's do one thing. These three rows, team A. Those three rows, team B. Parliament. 
we have heard about the constitution. Constitution, how many branches? Three branches. Three branches. The first branch? Legislature. Second branch? And third branch? Judiciary. What is the function of the first branch? Yes? To create or to make laws. Second branch? Yes? To execute law and the third branch? Yes? To protect the law. Right class? I hope so. The class was clear. Okay? Thank you class.